can sit in the center here. Guys, if we're here, if you want to ask a question, please raise your hand. Somebody will bring in the microphone. Make sure you ask the question into the microphone, please. Other than that, Dominic, over to you. Yes. Second. Well, uh, it was actually quite positive because uh, they were allowed to go out of their rooms. That was the biggest cheer of the day. Um, and, uh, of course, it's nice to, uh, when you go as a team, also to be able to, to be a team um, again, uh, even with distance, but still we could uh, at least see each other. And that was, uh, that was definitely the most, the most positive thing. And uh, it seems like uh, they uh, they are recovering fast, the players. So we also have hopes that some of the some of the girls that were infected first will be ready for the for the game tomorrow. Well, I know that uh, we're going to start with eleven, and but I don't know how many we can sub in honestly, uh, because we need to. They haven't been able to train, so we're going to train today, and then we see how they feel after. But I already know that the. There are at least three of the players that don't feel well enough to train today. So, of course, they will not be able to, to start the game tomorrow. But they are recovering really fast. But, but uh, after two days with no eating and, and only things coming out and nothing in, of course, you don't have power to start a game. So, uh, but I am, uh, I am much, much more positive than I was yesterday about having almost all of them uh, available for the game tomorrow, more or less uh, in condition to play. I don't know how many minutes they can play. Well, I actually, I actually don't know because we need to to see how they feel after the training today first, and then then I can tell you. Uh, intense, and and you, uh, in some way, because you need to improvise. Uh, you you cannot have team meetings. You cannot have uh, other things. So we needed to do a lot of stuff online. Uh, that we didn't prepare for, uh, we didn't prepare that up front. So, so we needed to improvise a lot. I needed to make a lot of video talks to myself, which was kind of strange. I never tried that before, um, and send it to the players and, and stuff like that. Uh, but we did all we could to to be ready for uh, uh, for the big match tomorrow. Not a lot actually. It was it was. Um, it is more that we've. Uh, it's more that the, the players we had in mind might not be ready, and that means we we need to uh, we need to uh, to prepare someone else, and then it is really annoying when uh, uh, when you can't train. But uh, but the game plan itself hasn't actually changed that much because because when you meet a team like Sweden, that is uh, that's the highest ranked European team. Um, with for good reason, then then there is not that many options how to to play the game, and um, but the chances of the that the execution gets right, uh, then you need to have the right players on the pitch. So it didn't change much. We, do, we can, can only change the players and adapt a little bit to that. But the game plan itself is going to be basically the same. I was a little bit hey, it's going to be great games. But chances of winning are slim. Uh, that was what I meant when I say we have no chance in hell. It's if you think about it logically, then we don't have a chance. But football is not logic. Football is football. So when you are on the pitch, each game has its own life. So of course we have a chance. They might not be so big, but that chance. And whenever, uh, as long as we do have a chance, we're gonna chase it with everything we have, like all the other teams. So even if our chances are small. Then uh, we can still we can still uh, win the game because it's not logic, but logically, of course, we don't have a chance. Do you think your coaching staff really unfortunate? Yes. 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 Yes.
Det har ju träffat när hon väljer för att hon känner att hon ligger i en annan